Trust most high, my Niji. This is a share to all my subscribers. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. And those of you who are new to my channel, please subscribe and like this video and all of my other ones. Okay, let's get into this. So today I am going to be talking about the plague that they are dubbing the coronavirus. Now, I was briefly watching what was on the entertainment news, or as you would know, it's the news. And they were talking about this plague, aka the coronavirus, and how it's spreading throughout parts of Europe and Iran. Now, we already know where Europe is at, okay? So you should know where Asia, so-called Asia, is located. And where is Iran? It is in North Africa, okay? So-called Middle East is North Africa, okay? Eurasia is a part of so-called Africa. Same landmass. Now, let's get into this. Now, if you notice, it started in so-called China. The mongoloid hybrid, okay? The mongoloid engineered species. The creature. One of the three creatures is where this plague started. Now, let's go back about seven months ago, eight months ago. Almost a year. China had a plague of frogs. Look it up. It's on YouTube. Uh, but, of course, the mainstream media didn't cover that. Now, they had a plague of frogs. And I mean a total plague. Like, it was frogs out the fucking ass. Now, China has had these plagues going on for a while now. So now it's switched from frogs and locusts to plagues of disease. So it's starting with one of the hijacks. Okay. Now in 2019, early on in the Americas, there was a lot of flesh eating bacteria that was mainly, chiefly, targeting your Eurasian and your mongoloid. Not any one colored, your creatures, your hybrids, okay? So now we go to this plague in 2020, where it's attacking the Eurasian, the mongoloid, and the Arab hijack. Now, that tells you right there, Hawaii himself is causing these hijacks. He's plaguing them now. And they are dying in the streets. And it's coming to America. Uh, from what I heard, it's already in California. But if you write with your power, you okay. But it's mainly focusing on these creatures. Mainly. Okay, now if you, you shacked up with these creatures, well, I feel for you. Not really, because you shouldn't be shacked up with these creatures anyway. But, these plagues are getting worse. And, good riddance. Because these creatures need to go. They don't belong on this plane. They should not even exist within this realm. So now they're being taken care of. I mean, it's, um, it's so biblical that it's funny. China started off having these plagues. So-called Africa, Saudi Arabia had the locusts that they said was of biblical proportion, by the way, because of the certain type of locusts that covered the sky. So, so-called Africa is entirely, that is all of so-called Africa and Eurasia, which is Europe 
and so-called Asia. Already you've been having plagues from locusts, blood, frogs, and now a famine type, not famine. Well, actually, yeah, basically famine, but it's a disease. They are dying. So who's truly gonna, not going to be here? Because it is not going away. They're trying to say there's a cure, but if there was a cure, why is it spreading? It's spreading from so-called so China into other parts of so-called Africa or the so-called Middle East, so-called Europe. When we all know, if you know true geography, where Eurasia actually sits, where Iran actually sits Iraq um Iraq Iran Egypt Libya Morocco Syria Turkey all of it's in freaking so-called Africa North Africa at that so these plagues are going to get worse think about it Australia has been burning for over six months now. <laughs> they cannot extinguish the flames of the seraphim. Okay? They can't. That's what's causing those fires in Australia. See, look at all of the plagues of the land of captivity. Egypt means land of captivity. Enslavement. Bondage. That is what Egypt means. So look at all of the plagues of Egypt. They're coming. They're already here. Fire. Frogs. Blood. Locusts, disease, <laughs> all of it's coming to pass, and it should, because the lands of captivity, Egypt, all of the Egypts of this realm are being targeted, so now their bodies will lie in the street. So, keeping that in mind, no more hijacks are allowed. No more creatures are allowed. Because now it's coming to where you only make up a very small fraction, not portion, a fraction of the population on this plane. Because you are not natural to the plane, my dear little creatures. Little Eurasian creature, mongoloid creature, and the so-called Middle Eastern, aka Arab hijack. Okay? You're not natural to this plane. You have been put in power by a privilege, by other melanated, natural beings that are superior to you in every form of the word. So, y'all can keep playing this little game, but you're, you're already losing. You've been losing for a while now. See, anyone who's smart know this plague, okay, call it what it is, it's a plague, is killing more than what you're letting on. Because y'all don't report anything if it's on a small scale. Y'all report something when it's on a large scale, but then y'all say it's a small amount. We already know it's the opposite. Because y'all don't report on something that's small. If it's really threatening 
your existence, which it's doing, that is when you report on it. So it's threatening the so-called white. It's threatening the so-called Asian. And now it's starting to threaten the so-called Arab. <laughs> See, I laugh at your death. Because what did you people do to my people when you got to my land? You partied. You rejoiced over the death of my people on my land. Well, as they say, payback's a bitch. It really is. And the funny part, Hawaii is giving out this revenge swiftly, might I add. I use this image of of the plagues of the bodies dead in the streets lying there dying with no help no hope of survival. This is you hijacks soon because nothing's going to help you anymore. So Trust and believe. What goes around comes around, my dears. So the next time you want to have that entitlement, you better look at history. Look back at the past of what happened to my people. Okay? Now, to you Eurasians specifically, you've only been on my land about a little over 200 and what? Well, eh, let's see. Late 1600s. So about, I'd say 16, the late 1630s, early 1640s is how long a pale creature has been on my land. And Benjamin Franklin mentioned this in his observation in 1751 when he said that they've only been here for a little over 100 years. And that's as of 1751. Okay. So that will be around the late 1630s. Early 1640s. So about 110, 115 years. Give or take. A couple years. That's a little over 100 years. So we know who was here prior to that. The true royals of so-called Africa and Europe were here. The real Spaniards of colored complexions of either Swarthy or Tawny. Okay. So, we'll give it to you say about 400 years. Okay. Give or take about 400 years. So, I don't want no one coming on my page because when I say about 400, the late 1600s would be around the late 1630s. This is 2020. So about 400 years. Okay? That they've been on my land. And the same goes for the mongoloid hijack. Once you come from Siberia. Okay? You come from the cold land, out of caves, to be exact. So the Mongoloid got here the same way as the Eurasian did. They immigrated over here. See, when y'all were here when the Mayans were still in power, they were putting the hijack, the Mongoloid, hijack in prison. And Sending them away or killing them, whichever one, probably both. So when y'all came back over here is how y'all got classified as a native American. Okay, because you're not native to anywhere. You were born on the land, but you're not native. You're not indigenous. You don't belong here. The Mayak already knew that. And they depicted 
who the real people versus the hijack. They represented that very clearly with two distinct color schemes of dark brown and brown and, well, pink, okay, with the dark hair. Now, only one hijack has dark hair and pink skin. That's the mongoloid hijack because the Eurasian has a mixture of dark brown and uh, blonde and red hair. So, but only one hybrid over here is the mongoloid. Then you've got your Arab hijack, which also has dark hair and pale pink skin. Okay, but that's over there. They didn't get here till later. Literally. Like the 19th century, literally. So, when they started to, you know, come over here a little bit, but started to immigrate over here, living here in around the 20th century, in the 1900s. So, you hijacks, all three of you, Mongoloid, Eurasian, and the Arab hijack, now y'all are being plagued by Hawa himself. So, y'all better start praying to your Allah. <laughs> y'all better start praying to your Buddha. <laughs> and you better start praying to your Jesus, your Jesus. Because <laughs> y'all powers don't exist. Your deities do not exist. So, with that being said, try as most high, my Niji.